Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on cord prolapse. Cord prolapse is a complication that occurs prior to or during the delivery of a baby. And in the cord prolapse, the umbilical cord will drop through the open cervix into the vagina before the baby. And it can then become trapped against the baby's body during delivery. So there are two terms, which are cord presentation and cord prolapse. Both means that there is the presence of the umbilical cord below the fetal presenting part. Whereas the difference is, in cord presentation, the membrane is still intact, whereas in cord prolapse, the membrane has been ruptured. For epidemiology, cord prolapse is mostly seen in footling bridge, where there is 15% among the cases. Other types of bridge can also have cord prolapse, but they are not so common. The causes of cord prolapse can be divided into maternal or fetal causes. For maternal, it could be due to multiparity, placenta previa, fibroid in the lower segment of the uterus, or contracted pelvis and fetal pelvic disproportion. Whereas fetal causes include prematurity, malpresentation like bridge or shoulder presentation, multiple pregnancy, polyhydramnios where there is excessive amniotic fluid, large baby or fetal abnormalities. And it can also be due to after artificial rupture of the membrane. To diagnose cord prolapse, we expect to see the loop appearing, the loop of the umbilical cord appear. And also on vagina, vagina examination, we can feel the pulsation of the cord. We should suspect for cord prolapse in unexplained fetal distress, such as variable decelerations or prolonged bradycardia seen on the CTG. To manage cord prolapse, first it is a red alert, an emergency situation, and first we should confirm the viability of the fetus. If the fetus is dead, where there is intrauterine death, we aim for vaginal delivery. If it is still alive, it depends whether the os is fully dilated or not. If it is fully dilated, can aim for instrumental delivery. If it is not fully dilated yet, can do emergency caesarean section. Next, we can relieve the cord compression. By replace the cord gently into the vagina, place the hand in vagina and cradle the cord in the palm, while the tips of the fingers elevating the presenting part so it won't compress on the cord. Elevate the mother's buttocks using pillow and also inflate the bladder with 500 cc of normal saline and clamping of the Foley's catheter. So all this while remember do not compress on the umbilical cord. That's all for this video, thank you.